Uh, my name is Jerry Beckley. I am the Vice President of Computing and Information Technology at West Kentucky Rural Electric out of a little town called Mayfield, Kentucky. Uh, prior to part of Mayfield, we had a major tornado go through, kind of wipe us out uh, a few Christmases ago. Uh, so we are kind of rebuilding ourselves out still. Uh, but I um, uh, wanted to talk to you a little bit today about paperless. Uh, West Kentucky Rule is my fifth major company that I've worked for in my career. Uh, I have been in higher education, I've been in government, and now I'm in the co-op space. I've also been in finance. Um, so one of the things that I strive anytime I enter a company is how do we become more efficient? How do we become more effective? And also how do we respond to our members better? So one of the things that you can always that we always look at is okay, how do we cut our own budget? Everybody loves savings, and I, you know, being an executive, we loves us some savings. So one of the things that I always do that always gets everybody panicked is when I say I'm going to start taking printers away. When I say I'm going to start taking printers away, there's strokes, people are screaming, you know, I get people pointing fingers at me, that kind of stuff. But I have a philosophy. If it starts digital, it dies digital. Nowhere in that process should you ever have to print anything. Okay, and we're in a digitized age today. And probably much like you all in your areas and your company, you get an invoice via paper, it goes to the finance department, they scan it, do whatever. It goes into optical, you get a copy because you got a stamp, sign, or do whatever. Well, that's not very efficient and it takes a lot of time, money, and effort. So one of the things that we did is we said, we got to be able to do this a little bit better. So we went ahead and started to look at, at, at paperless, and, and we, we had some problems. One of the things that we had is we had a legacy system called Open Text, and prior to that, they had an AS400. And if you're older than 45, an AS400 is way old. So you had an AS400 that had document images, that were compared to another proprietary that now I needed to convert again. So I was, you know, a full three levels up. So we needed to ask ourselves, you know, how do we automate? My job as VP, I don't solve problems. That's not my job. My job is to empower the other VPs to solve their problems. Okay? So when I met with finance and I said, okay, what do you need? Well, we need to be more efficient in the way we we're doing it. From floor to here, there was stacks of paper. As far as the eye could see, the stuff that needed to go into optical. Is it ever going to get done? Let's all be honest with each other. It ain't. You can scan every hour. We always love these summer interns. They don't care. They're not even indexing it right. Because they don't care. They're just... Is it ever going to get done? No, it's not. But let's go ahead and start doing it right. So the financial impact to, to us was actually minimal because I already was in a contract with, with a company called Open Text. Well, it was about duo. You know, when I say optical, I literally mean what we used to call it, if you guys may remember this, we used to call them jukeboxes. They stand about this tall, it looks like a jukebox. We actually had a jukebox with platters. And for a guy like me, I'm like, oh my gosh, how old is this? You know, we couldn't get parts for it. Which meant when I went to the senior team and I said, guys, you do understand if this thing fails, we're out of business. You can't get this data off. We need to convert. So we said, okay, well what's the workflow? Workflow is the hardest thing for anybody I've talked to because it makes you sit down and draw out a process. Okay, an invoice comes in, what do you do with it? Being an IT guy, I'm if then. If this happens, then this happens. And that's what it's I keep, you know, I'm a computer geek like the rest of you. If this happens, then this has to happen, and then you draw it out. We got so simplistic at some of this that I rolled out big pieces of paper and on our hands and knees, I said, we're going to write up one process, an invoice coming in. 
how does it work today? How do you want it to work? Okay. So we still have tons of filing cabinets, but what's the problem with tons of filing cabinets? The building burns down, tornado, hurricane. Well, hurricane. I come from hurricanes, so it wouldn't be. If there's a hurricane in Kentucky, it's got to be a hurricane. <laughs> Uh, fire, flood, whatever. If the building gets destroyed, what happens? It's gone, guys. It's gone. And I kept telling them that. Because everybody knows that one of these days you're going to get litigation if somebody wants to see a membership app from 30 years ago. And they're going to look to me and go, hey, JB, where is that application at? Is it an optical? Don't know. The platter. What platter was it in? I don't know. Well, it doesn't matter. The jukebox doesn't work anyway. Okay. We still have, <coughs> probably as big as that wall, something called microfish. For you young people, you don't even know what microfish is. Microfish is old, like 1960s and 70s stuff. So they're like, well, are you gonna digitize that? I said, find me a company. I could make a million if I could just do it myself. But our old legacy systems just weren't getting it done. As, as I put here, it's not, it wasn't user-friendly, it just really wasn't. I needed something that was robust from the finance side. What did I want to see from being an executive? My CEO wanted to be able to do stuff on the run, like me, I'm here. I leave here, drive home Saturday, I'm on a plane Sunday, heading to Phoenix. Now, what could happen is when I come back in the office next Thursday is what is going to be sitting on my desk? Stacks of invoices to start reading, right? But I want that. So I wanted to, 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 to be a lot better than it was. So Aaron, who is our manager of finance and um, head of folding, I talked them into this. And, you know, POs and non-PO invoice process workflow. We have automated this. How would you like that an invoice comes into a special email? We call ours invoices. Starts off digital, records digital. It's digital all the way through. It never, ever gets printed off. Never. That's what this is. We automated our stuff. The approval routing. How many people here have a policy of if it's over five thousand or ten thousand, the CEO has to sign off on it, or you know you can sign up to a thousand dollars? The workflow does that for you. I don't have to worry about. Well, you know this is ten thousand, so I can do ten thousand, or is it twenty thousand? When does the CEO sign off? I don't have to worry about any of that because it's built into the flow. The minute I hit submit. It goes on to its next person. Purchasing requests. Some, some people don't do purchase requests anymore. POs, we do. We do, and I'm glad we do. I was kind of on the fence. I'm glad that we do. Because we have policies in place that say over $10,000, you have to have more than three quotes. Okay? That it gives me the opportunity to go through and make sure that I've got all of, of my ducks in a row before it goes to my CEO. Because anything over $10,000, he has to sign off on. Uh, so we did our e-forms. Nice thing is, is this, we have CSA's product. We actually have what's called Microsoft GP. Microsoft GP stands for Microsoft Rate Plan. Okay, so ours connects into that. Okay, so what Mosaic did with us is said, okay, let's get this connection together. Because I don't want them to enter here and have to go over here and do it again. What is that called? It's called inefficiency. So we didn't want to do that. We wanted to make sure that this thing flowed straight into Great Plain and vice versa. I can, if I, if, if I get an invoice and one of the ladies puts it in a different GL that I don't want that to come out of that GL, I want it to come out of this GL. I can change the GL, but it notes that I made a GL. So there's no shenanigans you can do by hiding money or hiding where things go. 
there is always a audit trail. Now, Jay Beckley made this change. And if they don't agree, they put it back, which 90% of the time they do anyway. Uh, uh, file and find customer records workflow. We are beginning to get a lot done a lot faster than we've ever done before. And one of the things that we, we really love is, um, is the way that it flows is, uh, we don't, just don't have to wait anymore. I'm, I'm, I'm not articulating it very well. But anytime I have to go in and look for something, I can find it almost instantly. I don't have to go to the finance lady and say, hey, um, could you look up what I paid AT&T last year? I can go into the system and type in AT&T. And anything that I have rights to see, like I can't go in and say payroll, and I get paid because I don't have rights to that. Okay? So all of this stuff is automated. Data input, uh, our import, we actually, that was our, our big thing between Mosaic, us, and I had to hire a third party. Because as I said earlier, I told you that we had three levels of data. We actually, I found someone who could write in COBOL. And if you're over you know, 40 again, you know what COBOL, they don't teach COBOL anymore. Those guys are dying off, but I found one. He actually had to write COBOL code to get it out so we could put it in here. Okay. So one of the things that we really enjoyed is we had a lot of meetings and what a lot of systems, we had a lot of requirements. My job was to stop what we call groupthink. My job was to stop groupthink. It's, but can we make it do such and such? Well, was that part of the scope of work? Can we make it do X, Y, and Z? Well, is that part of the scope of work or does that need to be a phase two? So we, we, it took us between us and Mosaic, gosh, probably seven or eight months to convert. This is, this is me being on, the, on a call. I actually hired this guy, you know, and met with him every week. And he was just tearing it up. He finally, he had an epiphany one day. The minute I, I accidentally said in a meeting, AS400, said, you know, I hate this AS400 nonsense. And he goes, wait, stop. Are you saying this came out of an AS400? And I said, yes. He had it figured out in 12 hours. If you would have said that seven months ago, I would have been done. But he didn't even know to look at that thought structure. Okay? So what's the benefits? Our invoices are paid much much quicker than, than they were. So we do pr uh, check printing and mailing every Wednesday. So I can have an invoice show up today, I can approve it today, and it's printed by the next day. Out she goes. It's that fast. But Jerry, what are you saying, buddy? You're sitting here in Chattanooga. It doesn't matter. I'll tell you the secret about that here in a minute. Better budget print. I do the budget for IT, but there's things in the OT side that I'm responsible for. For an example, if there is a license for census, okay, that sits on my side as well too, because it's just how it's been designed. So if it's software, software related, but do you know I never saw a census bill? I never signed off on this thing. Why? Because the VP of engineering got that. But now because of the workflow, it falls under my account number, and now I'm seeing it. So, better budget prep. So this year, I don't have to go to my colleague and go, how much did you pay for census last year? Well, I think it was 20, or it might have been 22. So I put 22 in, and it comes in at 28. I don't have to do that anymore, because I'm really signing off on those bills. So now I know how to budget better, because I can know, dude, I paid 28,000, you're like five grand off. Uh, Approved because of access to pull historical information instead of going through a county department. Love this. We had an incident three weeks ago, an 
I needed to go find something, and I typed in that company name, <laughs> up she comes. And I can look at anything that I have rights to. Let me back that out. Anything that I have rights to see. Okay? Found what I was looking for, got with them, said, we've already paid you. There's one of those, you know, vendors who call and say, hey, we haven't gotten your payment. Mm -hmm. I folded it up and told them the check number and everything. Uh, receiving and paying uh, for inventory items through the work flow is a painless process now. It used to all be manual and be a mess, and it used to take forever. Now we simplify it. Um, decrease the time of processing for the accounts payable department. Um, I don't work with those ladies, so I, I asked them to kind of put a couple of these in. So I guess it works for them. They're happy with it. Uh, they're, they're not mad at me anymore, so I've got to put that into, that's the plus category. <laughs> Uh, better understanding of, of where money is allocated. So, like I just gave you the example of census or mill salt or whatever, you get a better sense of how much am I paying for internet access? It's not just budgeting at that point. So when my CEO goes, hey, how much do we pay for internet access? I can tell him because now I am approving those. Okay? Search function is easy. You just go by your GL code. Um, let me check one thing real quick. So we did something that I don't think anybody else has done. I'll have to ask my young colleague, Ken, here. We actually took ours a step further. I get invoices on the road now. It's not a mobile app. I use Safari on my phone. Super simple. A PDF comes in, and I look at it, and I say, I look at the PDF, and let's say it's, it's my internet bill through at and I got two buttons, approve and deny. If I approve it, done. I can be doing it sitting at the airport, I can do it in the elevator, I can sit there doing it at dinner. I did four of them at the Cracker Barrel in Nashville today. They don't have to wait. Or I could wait until next Thursday when I'm going to be back in the office to do it and it go through the process. So my CEO who was in Scotland, he did his in the airport. This is how you become efficient. It, I, I would say probably me, probably me and the CFO have the most invoices. I probably do, I don't know, maybe a couple hundred invoices. I do a lot of it. That's how it works. It's so smooth. And out of all the systems I've used, and I've used a couple over the years, uh, this is the best one that we have. So we're doing phase two. I'm not happy that we don't sit and we don't, we're going to go to the next phase. Next phase, and I sprung this on Mosaic a couple of days ago, automated expense report. How many of you travel, you got to come home, you got to get your receipts together, and then you got to your credit card statement, and then you got to get them all matched up, and then you turn it all in and hope nobody drives. What if you take a picture, automatically goes through the workflow, and the only thing that has to be tagged out is the statement for your, your credit card? I can't make it any easier. Cool thing is, I already kind of do a lowbrow version of this. I have OneDrive. We have OneDrive. We're in 365 at West Kentucky. So use your OneDrive. So when I ate at the Cracker Barrel, while I was talking to the girl, I took a picture of my receipt, uploaded it to my folder, threw the receipt in the trash. Don't need you anymore. So when my credit card statement comes in, I just check everything off. The only thing that has to be digitized now is the paper copy of my statement. But, because I'm a good guy, I actually go out to the bank and now load my statement. So everything they get is already digitized. 